Hello students, so in this class we will learn data frame data structure. Before starting with data frame, let us revise the series. So series is a one dimensional data structure where you will have indexes and columns, only single column. In case of data frame, it is a two dimensional data structure. So we were using only series but at times it is not enough to do the data analysis with a single dimensional data structure. It was required to create a two dimensional or three dimensional data structure for data analysis. So Panda has provided two dimensional data structure as data frame. It has three dimensional data structure also but in our syllabus we will cover only two dimensional data structure. So as you can see this is a series with single column. If I add multiple series then it will make a table like structure or you can say it will make a spreadsheet or excel like structure. That two dimensional data structure is called pandas data frame. So pandas data frame is a two dimensional data structure with columns of different types it is just similar to spreadsheet or SQL table or a dictionary of series object. If I add 5 series then it will make 5 columns and it will make our data frame. There are more ways to create data frame also. This is one example of a data frame. Here you can see there are multiple rows as you can see it is starting from 0 up to 6. So there are 7 rows and 5 columns. Columns are name, team, numbers, position and age. You can see the columns can have different data types. Also column can contain NAN that is not a number. So I hope this is clear to you that two dimensional data structure is called a data frame in pandas. Let us now see the characteristics of data frame object. As you can see there are two indexes or accesses in data frame. There is rows and there is columns. So column will have axis 1 and rows will have axis 0. This is a notation from pandas. If we give axis is equal to 0, it will give us the rows and if I give axis is equal to 1, then it will give me the columns. You should remember this. Axis 0 is called rows and axis 1 is called column. You can simply remember it with C. This is vertical. Column is vertical. So it represents 1 and rows are horizontal so it represents 0. You can remember only columns then rows will be 0. Column is vertical that means 1. 1 is vertical. Second is rows index is known as index and column indexes are known as column name. So from now onwards there are you can see there are two indexes. This is called 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is called row indexes and there are name, team, number, position and age. This is called column indexes. So from now onwards we will call this name, team, number, position and age column name and we will call this row indexes as indexes. So row indexes will be called, we will call this as index. And for column, we will call it as column name. You can see rows, this index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is currently in number format. It can be in string or character format also. In same way, column name, name, team, number, position, and age can be we can make its name as a string, character or any number. A 
a column can have values of different type that we can we have seen that a column can have value of different types a column consider this name column this name column currently have string data type only it can have numerical data type also so we can combine different data types in a single column the last characteristic is data frame is value mutable and size mutable what does it mean value mutable so you can see these data these all all are data so we can change these data that means it is value mutable that means we can change the value of data frame data and size mutable is we can add any number of rows to it and any number of columns to it this is size mutable so value mutable is we can change the value of data frame a data frames data and we can change the we can add the column or we can remove the column or we can add the row or remove the row that is size mutable let us now see some practical examples of it we will see everything one by one how to create data frame object with using series with using list and with other types also as of now i am telling you only the basic example of how to create data frame in this example i will take two series and i will combine those two series to make a data frame let us start so i will import pandas as pd then i am making two series one is age where i have taken three names and i have given age also so i am making series using dictionary you can make series with n number of ways as we discussed in the previous lectures of series so main purpose is to create a series age secondly i am creating a, another series class where i am taking names as keys and classes as values so again you can create this series cls using different ways also now let us see if i run it what happens you can see these two series have been created first series contains names as indexes of series and data values as age so name basali arjit and adrija are data labels and 16 17 and 18 is data values yes so we have age and class we can see here there are same indexes arjit basali and adrija data well uh, data labels of both the series are same so if i want i can combine these two side by side so arjit will have class 10 and then age 16 Basali will have class 11 then age 17 Adrija will have class 12 and age 18 so i can combine these two series side by side so let us try to combine these two series so what i will do i will again make a dictionary what dictionary will do i will give age and i will give series here age was our series and cls was also a series so i will give age and then series then class as key and value is cls as series so you can see this dictionary has been created so it is having key as age and see this this is full value the value is a series here key in this dictionary class is a key and value is a series 
so i have created a dictionary which is having value key two keys age and class and two values age series and class cls series using this dictionary i can create my data frame this is important for you how to create a data frame in the series we were creating series using pd dot series where s was capital here i will make data frame using pd dot data frame where d and f both will be capital this is important d and f both will be capital then i will pass my dictionary which i have already created previously you can see i have created d and what d contains key and value pair key is age and class and value is two series age and class so i am trying to combine these two series to make a data frame if i run it then what happens you can see arijit is having age 16 and class 10 vesali is having age 17 and class 11 so this is a data frame you can see it is two dimensional it is having columns and it is having rows okay so columns axis is called axis 1 and rows axis is called axis 0 remember it so this is it for the this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comments and we will meet in next video and we will see different types or different ways of creation of data frames in pandas Thank you.